Okay, so the first question that I want to address is what is a cell? Because a lot of us who are studying leaving cert biology, we know what's in a cell. We know what the functions of the cell are. And sometimes we're wondering, well, what is a cell exactly? And a cell is the basic unit of life or the basic unit of living things. So what does that mean exactly? Well, effectively, it means that we're built out of cells. So if we take the example of the house that I am sitting in right now, this house is built out of concrete blocks, which means that at one point, somebody put down a block, and then another, and another, and another, until we get a house. So the block in this instance is the basic unit of the house. And the cell is the basic unit of life. So if we take a sperm cell and an egg cell, when the two of them combine, we get one cell called a zygote. And we all started off life as this one cell, this zygote. But this zygote has the ability to divide into two. And those two cells can divide into two. And each of those can divide into two. And so on and so forth until you get a living thing. And this living organism is effectively built out of cells. So the cell is the basic unit of life. Another definition that we could take for a cell is that a cell is an enclosed unit. And if we take the example of a prison cell, a prison cell is an enclosed unit. It is enclosed by walls and bars. Okay, so what we know is that the cell is the basic unit of life and the cell is an enclosed unit. So what is a cell? Basic unit of life. Now the next thing I want to look at is the two main types of cells. And the two main types are prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells. Now, as we mentioned, a cell is an enclosed unit and both prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells are enclosed by a cell membrane. So the prokaryotic cell has a cell membrane, the eukaryotic cell has a cell membrane. The cell membrane surrounds the cell, it holds the contents of the cell in place and it can decide what gets in and out of the cell. The other thing that both prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells have is chromatin, or chromosomes is what they're called sometimes. Okay, so they both have cell membranes, they both have the genetic information, the DNA, in the form of chromatin. The difference, however, between the prokaryotic and the eukaryotic cells is that the eukaryotic cell has a nuclear membrane surrounding the chromatin. Okay, the eukaryotic cell has a nuclear membrane, the prokaryotic cell has no nuclear membrane and therefore no nucleus. Okay, now, so no nucleus here in the prokaryotic has a nucleus in the eukaryotic. Prokaryotic cells are bacteria, at least for the purpose of leaving cert biology the only cells that are prokaryotic are bacteria, whereas the cells that are eukaryotic are animals, plants and everything else really. Okay, the eukaryotic cell also has membrane bound organelles, the mitochondria, the chloroplasts have a membrane around them. The prokaryotic cells have no nucleus, no membrane bound organelles, and you'll need to remember the difference between the two as well as which one is which. And the way that I remember which one is which is that you and I, you are eukaryotic and you are an animal, of course, humans are animals. So you are eukaryotic, you have a nucleus, you have a nuclear membrane around your chromatin, you have membrane-bound organelles. Bacteria 
are prokaryotic, they have no nucleus and they have no membrane bound organelles. And that is it. So the next video I will do will look at what's in the cell, the structures, the functions of the organelles, etc.